This is the story of what we call allocating resources. What is the best course of action in allocating resources? In the middle of the night, an official wife comes in emergency room with her sick four-year-old son due to high fever and asks the doctor see him right away. She is restless for the son has a history of febrile convulsion. The ER has a full waiting room. Should you deny her and pay the price? Or, damn it, forget about the professionalism trias, red, yellow, green, and black? Only two groups out of ten see her son right away. This is a very good example of professionalism is not enough. Of course, you have to be competent in your field, but after competent, after competent. You have to be ethically sound and legitimate. Trias is all about professionalism, medical consideration, but it is not enough. You are medical students are fantastic. You have been everywhere. You have done everything. You start student action in Germany, Denmark, UK, in the US, and you come in with your idealistic. You are astonishing. You never know what's going on around you. You feel life as it should be in addition to life as it is and you are captivated by it. Mm. Then you pass it. Later. Trias is a science. Do not let the official wife face a long tedious wait is an art. Cases where the influential people are asking for special treatment ask that we review our ethical criteria for resource allocation. Do some people deserve special treatment over others? What would justify such a claim? In the case, the ER staff might be swayed by the powerful position of the official votes in doctor institution, and doctor want to do his best. However, the other people waiting in the ER have been subject to triage criteria based on medical need. It would be unjust to waive this criteria on the basis of social position, right? While this may seem unrealistic, one might also consider the effect on the hospital. If the official wife faces a long tedious wait in the waiting room along with everyone else, a complaint voice by the powerful person may in exchange on staffing consideration more effectively than a number of patient complaints. Now, principalism. Beneficence says the benefit should outweigh the risk. Utilitarianism states that the best action is the one that maximizes utility. To let her sail through would be to create an impression of smoothness that is most likely not part of the everyday AR experience. This is the contextual feature of the four-box paradigm. Collegial relationship that save us. According to the Indonesian Physician Oath, trias is in line with Saya tidak terpengaruh oleh pertimbangan kedudukan sosial dalam menunaikan kewajiban saya terhadap penderita versus collegial relationship. Collegial relationship. Saya akan memperlakukan teman sejawat saya sebagaimana saya sendiri ingin diperlakukan. Let me get this straight. If, if one patient is dissatisfied for thinking you did a wrongdoing to him, he can show you. No patients will stand by you. No one on your side. They are all gone. Catch my drift? Collegial relationship that save us. So stay connected by banding together. Indonesian Medical Ethics Code Article 3 Dalam melakukan pekerjaan kedokterannya, seorang dokter tidak boleh dipengaruhi oleh sesuatu yang mengakibatkan hilangnya kebebasan dan kemandirian profesi. Versus Article 14 Setiap dokter memperlakukan teman sejawatnya sebagaimana ia sendiri ingin diperlakukan. In Article 9, respect for, in collaboration with, 
the influential official, policy maker, decision maker. We are almost through now. The ontology. We are on duty. We are not going out somewhere. We are with them. We are with people. We are with patients at crucial moments of their lives. Healing. Just because limited condition in the resource world setting, we cannot do much about it. If, if something happens, it is a negligence. It is a dereliction of duty. It isn't even KKM, corruption, collusi, nepotism. No. For further discussion of the case, please refer to Ronald Manson, Intervention and Reflection, Basic Issues in Bioethics, Allocating Resources. In delivering messages, I was copying Dr. Stephen Whitman's style, The House of God. This is a popular ethics case in the School of Medicine in the U.S., especially in the University of Washington School of Medicine. Thank you.